Let's go. All right, we're doing another sparring kick technique from Second Brown. Lots of fun advanced stuff today. This is just a combo kick. It's uh, combining a few things you may already know. It's the roundhouse to hook kick. Roundhouse to hook kick. So it's a combination of just two kicks and we'll put it together for you, help you out on that hook kick because that one's a little bit more advanced, but I know you guys can do it. So let's get started with it. So of course we're gonna start with a roundhouse kick. It's supposed to be either dead leg or dead leg height here, or if you can reach up and get it to rib height, that would be awesome. So we're starting of course on every roundhouse kick. Don't forget your turning your foot, what's that called? Pizza. Pivot. <laughs> your pivot so don't forget to pivot that foot turn and then that's your first roundhouse kick so we're going to of course chamber it up making sure our heel is as close to our target as we can get it and kick now we're not going to set it down once we do that it's a little bit of a harder combination to uh do slow mo but once we turn do our roundhouse kick we're going to actually leave this leg up here and we're gonna take it up higher and hook around. So before we combine those two kicks, we will do a we'll do a few roundhouse kicks just to remember how they go, and then move on to our hook kick, and then we'll put it all together. Yes? Yes, ma'am. All right, let's do five on each leg. Make sure you don't forget that pivot in there. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. Now switch feet. This time I'll do them sideways with you. Make sure Miss Rebecca doesn't kick me. <laughs> she kicks really hard. All right. Make sure in one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now one more thing I did not tell you to watch for, but you should know from previous lessons that you gotta make sure on that round house your feet are pointed like you're a ballerina on the ball of your feet. I'm not a ballerina, I can't do point. <laughs> but we want that foot pointed also for this because it's part, the beginning part of a hook kick. So that's the second part of this combination. It's of course a roundhouse to hook. So we're gonna start doing some hook kicks. Same thing, you're still in that same chamber. This leg does not change the entire combo, but we're gonna start just doing a hook kick. It goes out just like before, except we're gonna extend past where our target is. My target is right in front of me, right here, or actually it might be easier to see over here. If my target's right in front of me, I'm gonna go past my target and hold my leg out there. And I'm gonna kick with the bottom of my foot, not the top this time. Roundhouse kick is with the top. This one's with the bottom, so we're gonna pivot and hook back. So it's like, I think of it like an anchor. You can think of it however way which helps you but here, and I hook back, so my leg is straight and I bring it in. So, if you wanna do a few or just to, I hope this more easily de demonstrates the hook kick in a two dimensional form, because it's a little bit of a more dimensional kick, but you pivot, of course I'm going past the bag and I hook back and kick it. It's almost like a reverse crescent kick, almost. You go back and hook. Just like that. Keep your guards up. Again, I'm a bad example. There we go. Just like that. And again, other leg, same thing. You would pivot that foot, chamber going past, and then you kick back. All right, we'll each do five of those on each side, and then we'll put it all together. All right. Join me. Do you want to do a few that way? All right. So we're going to do, we're going to start on our right leg. I'm gonna pivot. We'll start slow, we'll get faster as we go on. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Alright, we're gonna go out and hook back. That's one. Go out, hook back two. Alright, hook three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just like that. All right, let's try it on the other leg. Can I, can I interrupt for just a second? Everybody yes. say hi, Mr. Boggs. Hi, Mr. Boggs. You know, this was a kick for me that was challenging. And I, I, was, I was in the other room stamping cards. But I learned this kick. Can I borrow this bag right here? 
I, I did this kick on the wall at home. I would put my foot to the wall, I would chamber, I would put my kick out and hold it for just a couple seconds, and then I would do my hook. Yes, and I'd practice this on the wall for days and days. I used to do it in the swimming pool years ago. I don't have, well I do, but the pool's been closed. Uh, but I would go into the pool and put my hand on the side of the pool, and I would put my kick up there, and I would make water splash. Yes, I did it with my roundhouse kicks also. Yes, I would splash water. So obviously, depending on the height of the pool. I'm five foot ten, so three foot water, I can lift my leg three foot high. Does that make sense? Sure. I, I used to go down to the, to the uh, gym where they had a pool, and I would work my way down to the deep end. So when I was getting ready for black belt, I could lift my leg up above my head. Yes, sir, but I practiced in the pool because the pool may be buoyant. Yes. yes, but I practiced on the wall. You can do your own wall, the door. Put your foot to the wall. Out. Hook. Yes, sir. Not bad for a 58-year-old guy. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to step out. Thank you, ladies. Continue. The extra special tip from Mr. Boggs himself. Now that you have the extra set of knowledge, if you want to, not just do it in the air, if you have a wall close by, or say a piece of furniture, a couch that you can hold on to, or a corner that you can use, feel free to move your computer over there really quickly, and then we can do our last five. Or they can just do it. Yes. All right, so we're gonna do our last five on the other leg. Go up, hook one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so now that we know both of those, of course, you can do the practice later on by yourself with the hook or the roundhouse. We're gonna put them together. So what you're gonna do is be making kind of a, to you it looks backwards, but to you a C shape. Yeah, so C shape right here. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take my leg up. I'm gonna make that first bottom line. I'm gonna go up and then I'm gonna do my hook all the way back across. So it's kind of hard to do slow motion, but if I do it street speed, we can go out, up, and hook. See how I'm down here, this is my distraction, up, and hook. If you're using this in a sparring setting, they may, if you, they see that roundhouse, they're gonna block that going down or using their knee. Preferably, if you're in sparring, you use your knee to block your kicks and not your hands. But you're gonna go up and they're not going to, or most likely not going to, suspect the hook kick, which is aimed towards the head. So you're wearing headgear, you're able to do that. It goes up, see how I'm making that C shape. It's kind of hard to tell, but. All right, so we're gonna do a few using a clapper. Again, the if you're using a pillow at home or something like that, you wanna hit the clapper with your second kick, the hook kick. Yes. Since right now we're practicing it as the roundhouse kick, as a distraction kick, that one should go below and then as you bring it up high for the hook kick, that's the one that should hit your imaginary or real pillow, whichever you may have. All right, so if we start here, we'll goes house. up. Yeah. Turn. Go ahead and do 5, 10, 15 with us at home. Make sure you're practicing that pivot, going up higher. Awesome. Yeah. So do you want me to just exercise it? If you're practicing with a sibling, make sure to give both of yourselves some practice. Three, four, Ooh, I want it five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that is the full kick. Make sure you're doing that C circle everything, but those should look really good next time I see you. Yay, so thank you, Miss Grace. Thank you, Miss Grace. Thank you, Mr. Rebecca. Thank you, Miss Rebecca.